In chapters 16 and 17 of the Gospel of Matthew, from our daily reading today, there is so much to consider. I mean, the Mount of Transfiguration, this is a, a mountaintop of scripture, quite literally. But anyway, I'd love to share with you something that I find to be so, so important for your walk in mine. It comes from Matthew chapter 16. Let me begin reading from verse 13 from the New Living Translation. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? This is a reference to himself. Well, verse 14, they replied, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, and others say Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. And then Jesus asked them, but, who do you say that I am? And verse 16 tells us that Simon Peter answered, you're the Messiah, the son of the living God. Here's what I find so interesting about this insight. So many people have so many different opinions of who Jesus is. Yet here in Matthew chapter 16, as you begin reading on into that chapter, Jesus begins to share with Peter, you know what? God is the one who's revealed this to you, Peter. It didn't come from flesh and blood. It didn't come from academic pursuits or even your own experience, but God revealed this to you. And here's what I'd like to share with you this morning. Jesus Christ is God. And as God, he came to pay a debt that he did not owe because you and I, we owed a debt that we could never pay. Jesus is the Messiah, the anointed one who's come to take away the sins of the world. And in your reading today, Matthew 16 and 17, I hope and pray that you say with your heart, with your head and with your hands, Jesus, you're God and I belong to you. Use me for your will and your way, for the glory of God and for the good of others today, wherever you lead me.